Hello friends, today we will discuss regarding the keratinous cyst. The keratinous cyst have been known for many years as a sebaceous cyst, but it's a misnomer term nowadays. You have to know that keratinous cyst is divided into the two types. The one is epidermoid type and another one is trichelemal type. Uh, this is the figure, this is the case of epidermoid type. So today we will discuss regarding the epidermoid cyst and it is present in greater than 90% so most of the keratinous cyst in the 90% case is epidermoid type now how will you diagnose it, uh, this epidermoid cyst uh, just see in this low power view you can able to see that cyst wall is lined by stratified squamous epithelium uh, this epithelium is stratified squamous it's called as cornified epithelium the second feature you have to see is the keratin arrangement. The keratin flex is usually present. These are the flex. But the peculiarity of this cyst is arrangement of keratin in lamellated manner. So you can able to see the lamellated keratin. That is the most important feature of the cyst. Arrangement of lamellated keratin. Now third feature you have to see is for the keratohyaline granule. For that we will inspect in the 40x you can able to see the keratohyaline granules prominent granules so that is a feature of keratinous epidermoid cyst now you have to note down that uh, calcification is typically absent in this cyst uh, it is present in trichelemal it is not present in epidermoid cyst uh, this uh, cyst wall doesn't contain any crying glands, any sebaceous glands or any hair follicle. So that is the most important distinguishing feature from the dermoid cyst. If a crying gland, sweat glands, sebaceous glands are present, then the diagnosis could not be epidermoid. It could be then dermoid cyst. This uh, epidermoid cyst is very uh, unilocular cyst in most of the case. And sometimes it may form because of traumatic inclusion of epidermis, so can be known as epidermal inclusion cyst as well. So these are the distinguished feature, basic fundamentals of the epidermoid cyst. So it's very easy to diagnose epidermoid cyst in histopathology. Uh, cyst wall is lined by squamous epithelium, and the arrangement and the arrangement of lamellated keratin that is the basics i hope this video will be helpful to you if you like the video then do the subscribe and press the bell icon thank you very much